have you been feeling like you're surrounded with negativity lately? Maybe your home or your workplace has gotten like this heavy energy and it's just feeling like it's kind of dragging you down. Um, maybe you, you know, leave those places and you just feel like, ugh, inside your heart, right? Um, how could you maybe be the change agent to the environment around you? Hi, I'm Sage and I'm a growth coach. And the topic today is, if you are lacking a positive environment, create one. So why is it important to try and improve the energy around you? Well, you know, a lot of us don't even really reflect on the energy of our surroundings. <clears throat> and then we wonder why we don't feel well. But bad, bad energy could be, you know, impacting you even more than you know. Um, and because so many people don't understand the, how powerful energy is, um, you know, then they just keep putting out this toxic energy and it's just affecting a, a wide radius of the people around them. We also obviously thrive in more positive spaces. Um, you know, we have better productivity, better health, all of those type of things. So let me give you a couple quotes. Positive culture comes from being mindful and respectful um, of your coworkers and being empathetic. Biz Stone. And once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. Willie Nelson. So a couple questions for you. Which environment in your life has been negative lately? And how could you maybe be the change agent for that environment? All right, don't worry, I got gotcha. you. I got four today. So here are four ways to be positively, um, be the positive influence of the energy in your environment. All right, number one, you have to become aware. So you have to actually spend a little time reading the energy in the spaces that you're inhabiting and monitor that and then start identifying what might be the issues that are that are causing causing that energy drain number two stop allowing or endorsing bad energy so for example you want to really be careful about you know chipping in on gossip or whining or complaining and you know that's kind of human nature we like to gather around the water cooler and gripe about things right well you know, I'm not saying that we should never talk about what's bothering us or what's hurting us a little bit, but um, you also don't need to beat a dead horse. So make sure that you're like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And then you change the tune and, and say something more positive um, so that it doesn't bring down the energy of ev ev everyone around you. Okay, number three. I don't know if you've heard of the term glimmers yet, but I think it's kind of a fun term. Um, so the next one is provide glimmers. Basically, these are moments in our day, like little snapshots where we get this little lift up of energy, a little like, ooh, that was good, right? So you start providing those glimmers for others. Be the one who notices you know, that they've got a haircut and it looks great on them. Or be the one who, um, you know, champions the energy they put into a project or whatever. And provide those glimmers for others because I really believe that energy is contagious. Okay, number four. Encourage others to lift others up. So, um, especially if you're in any kind of supervisor role, this really lies on your shoulders, um, but you can do this, you know, from any capacity in any setting, and that is be the one to say, oh yeah, hey, did you notice that so-and-so did this? Did you say anything to him? Um, I think that, you know, most of us have good hearts, and we notice good things about people, but then we 
we kind of fail in the last step, which is actually executing um, gratitude and uh, a thank you or a celebration uh, verbally to that other person. We think in our head like, oh, Nancy did such a good job on that. But do we actually say it, right? And again, that kind of routes back to the glimmers. You know, not only should you provide that, but you should be encouraging others to do so as well. And that lifts the energy up. Okay, circling around, if you are lacking a positive environment, create one. So which of these four tips resonates with you? All right, I've got your intention for today. I promote positive energy wherever I go. All right, well, thanks for joining me here today. Uh, growth, it's a funny little thing, right? We really have to check in with each other and um, lift each other up and you know hold each other's hands and walk towards growth because it's not an easy thing to do. And we can get busy in life and we need to cheer each other on. So I appreciate you showing up here with me to do so. And please join my Facebook page, um, which is Growing Sage, or go to my YouTube, which is Sage Robinson Miller, and share that with some of your friends. And there's tons of videos and tons of meditations on there to help you with your growth. Thanks for being here today. I love you.